Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. In today's video, we're going to be taking you through the external rotation lag test. And the purpose of this test is to diagnose a massive rotator cuff tear. In particular, it's said to be biased towards the external rotators of the shoulder joint. Just before we take you through the test, we'd like to mention that we're only going to perform the test on our patient's right arm today. We're not going to slow your video down by repeating it on the other side, but of course in clinical practice, you always want to have a look at both. So how do we do the test? The examiner passively brings the patient's arm to a 90 degree abducted position in the plane of the scapula. From there, we're going to externally rotate the shoulder. Now, some texts say to externally rotate it to 90 degrees. Some texts say 45. In this video, we're going to show it to you at the 45 degree angle. So what we're going to do is once we passively brought our patient's shoulder into this position, we're going to simply uh, ask them to maintain this position as we let go with both of our hands. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to ask our patient to hold the position, hold the position, hold the position, and relax. And we can see there that our patient can quite easily maintain that position. So what if there was a massive rotator cuff tear? Well, a positive result in this test is whereby they can't hold the position. What you'll commonly find is that they drop the arm towards the midline and they may very well not be able to hold the external rotation. In fact, it goes into a little bit of medial rotation as well. Now, in clinical practice, we quite like this test. We find that it's also um, very good alongside the drop arm test in diagnosing a massive rotator cuff tear. In particular, if your patient has a history of a fall and they have very good passive range of movement of the shoulder, but very poor active range of movement of the shoulder, and they've got poor resisted external rotation, abduction, and they have a positive, then it's very likely that they have a rotator cuff tear. Finally, you'll see in some textbooks that this is called the infraspinatus external ro uh, rotation lag test, i.e. it specifically diagnoses an infraspinatus tear. However, it's always worth remembering that there are other muscles involved in external rotation. Teres minor is one, and in recent times we've also found that the supraspinatus has an active role in external rotation too. If you want to therefore diagnose exactly which uh, tendon is torn, you may want to speak to one of your specialists to see if they need imaging to tell you the exact answer.